Hello, and right here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming. And oh, look at that beautiful weather out here today. Hmm. Oh, Alvin. We got some uh, straw bales we need to pick up over on Field 1. There, we finished up uh, baling those here since last episode. So, I guess out in the rain we go, Alvin. Yep, pick up those uh, lovely wet bales. Good thing uh, the rain doesn't uh, affect them here in this game. Uh, at least, uh, I'm not aware there's any mods that will do that here at this point. Um, I know back in Seasons mod, if those remember the actual like Seasons mod, uh, that would have a deteriorating effect on uh, certain, uh, I don't know if it did bales so much, but on uh, straws, stuff like that. If it rained, everyone, it would actually deteriorate, remove uh, material. Yeah, not aware that it does that here in this game, so that's probably a good thing. Anyway, let's get this uh, set up here for round mills. Looks like it's already set on that. Perfect. And we just need to finish uh, giving our cows here the straw bales. I don't know if the straw bales are actually going to do any good or not, Evan, because, again, um, we don't have any silage in there. And I'm not sure. I don't know. I guess we could do silage. Actually, you know what? The easy way to do silage, Evan, we could just get a wrapper. We could do some grass. That would uh, potentially work, right? Might just do that. We'll see what's here. I don't know if this is one of those uh, trailers I can just uh, drive full speed ahead. Uh, I know with some trailers, having the way they work with the auto load, the auto load like drops it in place, and if you're like moving quickly, uh, it will not get dropped in the correct place. And uh, you'll have like a spacing problem, right? The, uh, the bale that got dropped too far back or something like that. Now you can't load the rest of your bales in the spots where they're supposed to go. And you end up with a void and empty spots. And oh boy, it gets to be a downright mess. Yeah, notice how that uh, bale there, I want to sit back a little bit further than the uh, bottom one. Probably what's, uh, what's going on there. Okay, one more bale. We're definitely going to be making another trip back to this field here, aren't we? Yes, we're not going to be getting all the bales. That being said, there's not really that many bales out here. Looks like one more load should easily get it. We got uh, 10 here. There's another two, four, six, eight. Oh, actually, you know what? There might be another... I'm counting 11 bales, Evan, if I'm not mistaken. There's 11. Ah, huh, great. Uh, got one extra bonus bale out here. Might have to just see if we can, like, toss it up in the trailer here or something. I think if the uh, mod author would have had these bales tipped on their side, uh, on, on the round side, right, Evan? Would have been able to fit a few more bales in this trailer, I would have thought, but oh well. And I'm not sure how many bales this cow building is going to hold there. I guess we're going to find out, right? Actually, you know what? We should be able to make a pretty good guess on that one, everyone. Uh, holds 100,000... Actually, is that 100,000 liters or 100,000 yards? I'll have to maybe go look at that in the menu here. I'm pretty sure it was in liters this time around, right? Because I know some of the information on it is in yards. Some of it's in liters. Some of it's in bushels. Oh, my goodness. It, uh, a little bit of consistency would be nice here on this one. But, uh, well... Um, no, that is the one we want. Yeah, okay. What... Is that the one? No, that can't be the one we want. Open cattle range. Open cattle range. Okay, they should have hay, right? Th Did we give them hay? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, that's right. Okay. I forgot, Evan. Uh, yeah, I, I forgot already. Uh, they they do have hay, of one. Which, actually, I don't know. Why do they not actually have the hay already? I don't remember. Maybe the, uh, the robot thing has not fed them yet. That bale just uh, fell off. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, down to the last bale here. Is that going to be... Okay, I guess we're going to need some more bales. Let's see. So straw, 59,000... No, wait a minute. Oh, that is the wrong straw. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. This this building, I'm going to use a little help if you ask me. Okay, so that bale is partial. We'll just, uh, just stack that there for now. Okay, so you, you see straw listed on there twice. Evan, for those of you who never uh, played with this uh, building before... Uh, the one straw is like the bedding straw. That's what we put in the building last episode. So that that's that straw right there, right, Evan? And then we got the straw that is out here. This is from essentially making mixed rations, which again, I'm mean, if we're not doing mixed rations, I don't know if it gets in that fact. Does this thing not even work if we don't have silage? Which would be a bit of a problem because I obviously I don't have silage. <laughs> we we definitely do not have silage, Evan. Um. Also, why does this look like grass? Should be hay bales. Yeah, it does say it's hay, so okay. Yeah, possibly it just has not been enough time here yet. I'm not sure. I don't remember again, everyone, exactly when that uh, building automatically feeds the animals. Uh, basically, you just got to keep those bays stocked with whatever they need. You know, straw, hay, silage type thing. And then that should automatically feed the cows as needed. That, by the way, again, is why you see this here. You go look at this menu and like, oh, wait a minute, I brought hay. No, well, I did, but it has not fed that hay to the cows yet. So, Anyway, back to the field. We'll go uh, finish picking up the rest of these bales here. And also, for those who didn't uh, see it here, I did upload uh, the missing episode 18 here this uh, past weekend. So, yeah, for those who missed episode 18 last week, and I, I have no idea what happened. I went, apparently, I must have just literally forgot to upload it or something because uh, it was not there. I'm like, okay. Well, let's see. Let's turn auto load back on. Obviously, I haven't had episode 18 recorded and all ready for being uploaded. Just uh, looks like I forgot to upload it. So, whoops. Ah, hard to get good help nowadays, everyone. Hard to get good help, right? Actually, I joke about that, but that is actually le legitimate. It is actually very hard to get good help nowadays. Okay, let's see. Once did I count right here? I don't see any more bales over on that end of the field. We have room for three more bales here once we're done. And, yep, I did count correctly, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we're going to have one bale left over, which I might we might try to see if we can squeeze that in the corner there or something. Because otherwise we're going to have to come back and pick up just one bale. Kind of annoying. But that might be what we have to do. Um, why well, you know, pick that bale up. And that bale. Okay. Why well, you know, picking up bales here all of a sudden? What's up with this? It's got room for two more, at least it should anyway. Oh, that one picked up, okay. Well, let's go back to these two here and just see what's what in the world's going on. I tried turning it off and turning it back on again. You know, sometimes maybe. Nope. That, okay, this time worked. I, that was weird, Evan. Okay, and do we have room in the back here for one more? There's a strap there. Yeah, sure, we'll go with it. Straps holding it. Hey, at least we don't have to make a special trip back to the field, right? Anyway, we'll read a few uh, comments here a moment while we're heading uh, back. Uh, Hetro was saying, four straw with Giants in-game cow barns. I used the small mixing wagon. 
for bedding. And that is probably a, a good choice right there. Yeah, the small mixing wagon. Uh, of course, in our case, we're just using the forage wagon, which uh, seems to work quite nicely as well. I do remember the last time I did this cow barn, I, went, I had a terrible time trying to get it to uh, fill with the bedding straw. I uh, ended up actually filling it from outside. Yes, I'm filling it from outside the building. That's uh, Giant's logic there, right? And uh, the, the building we're using, by the way, is just a modified version of Giant's building. It's, it's the in-game building. I don't know if anyone has made any other changes to it other than capacity. I know the capacity is di obviously different. I one. This holds 200, 240. I think it was 240 or 250, somewhere in there. We got 240 in at the moment, which might have been the limit. I don't remember exactly that one. That actually was the limit, or that's just what we put in it, but. Oh, look at us being fancy, stacking the bales. It actually looks like they're kind of like locking together. That's kind of me. Whoop. Until I like, try to push the pile over. <clears throat> My bad. Nope, that's not, that's not a bale. Can I reach through and grab it? Uh, no, apparently not. There we go. And we got three more yet. Guess we'll just be stacking them out here. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Again, it shouldn't affect it here in the game, fortunately. There we go. Works for me. Got all the bales out. All the bales unloaded. Actually, you know what? I should start the tractor back up here again. Uh, now, we do... I don't know if... Again, like I said earlier, I don't know if we need silage or not. We're going to find out. Uh, we do need one other thing, though, and that is the mineral feed. Well, actually, I guess we don't know if we necessarily need to have it, do we? Yeah, I don't remember if you actually, like, need to have it or not, one. Uh, but this building does take the mineral feed here as well, which I forget if that shows up in the menu here or not. So, yeah, if we go to our cows here. No, I don't see it listed, which I'm, I'm assuming it takes the mineral feed, right? Let's actually go over here and check, see what does it show. Yeah, it, okay, it does show it on the menu, Heaven. It does show mineral feed. I don't know why it doesn't show anything from here. Oh, and actually, you know what? I wonder if that's why it's not feeding. I think in order for it to feed, it has to have the mineral feed, right? Yeah, if I remember correctly, but in order for this thing to automatically feed, you have to have the mineral feed in it. Which might be why it's not working. At least I'm hoping that's why it's not working. Um, thought I shut you off. You're still running yet. Off. There we go. Let's grab our truck here. We'll head down to the store here real quick. I'm going to grab a few boxes of mineral feed and head back up here. Where is it? In the garage? Maybe it's in the garage. Well, let's see. Where did I leave my truck? Very excellent question, you know, sometimes. Okay, I'll tell you all, folks, we'll meet you down at the shop here. Let's go grab some uh, mineral feed, and we'll be back. Oh, Kevin, and we are at the shop here. I should have brought a trailer along so we could have grabbed those last uh, few bales there, but oh well. Maybe we can still... Nah, probably not. Probably won't have room for it, but uh, grab some mineral feed here a minute from the shop, and that is under... Oh, let's see. Is it a big pouch? I forget what category that's under here again. Not that one. I don't think it's bags. Let's see. There's our liquid fertilizer, herbicide, seeds. There we go. Yeah, mineral feed. That's what we're looking for. Let's grab... Oh, we can't buy multiples. Okay, well, let's see if we can grab two of those. I, I don't remember how much this holds here again. So we'll just grab two pallets. Call that uh, good for now. That's exactly all... No, that's not all the way up there. Okay. 
note to Giants. Normally pallets like this are designed to fit in between the rear tires there. Okay, I can't get it back out either. Really? Why, you know, come on, there we go. Let's try putting it in sideways here. There we go. Might be able to uh, throw a couple more pallets up in here yet then. Nope. That's just on that part of it. Ooh. I don't mind me I'm just picking the entire pallet up here. Nothing to see, folks. Got it. Let's see. Is this, uh, was this an F3? Oh, yeah. We can put another two pallets in there. <laughs> uh, as the rear axle cries and screams in agony. No worries, everyone. It's a Ford. It'll it'll handle it no problem. Actually, you know what? This one we can probably put this way. Yeah, we might be able to close the tailgate yet. I think we maybe can. Don't remember if this truck has straps or not. I'm, I'm hoping it does, everyone, because if not, this might have been a very bad idea. Perfect. Straps, oh yes. Perfect. And we can close the tailgate, it looks like. Bingo. Almost like we know what we're doing. Okay, we'll meet you folks back at the home farm. Okay, and we are back at the farmyard here. Let's drop this uh, mineral feed off here. Like I said, I don't remember how much this building holds here again as far as this goes. So we're going to find out. And I believe we just got to bring it over here right here, right? Actually, you know, maybe we should turn the flashlight on. It is starting to get a little dark out here. There we go. That is working. Okay, took that entire pallet. Well, let's put another pallet in here, I guess, then. Again, like I said, I'm not entirely sure how much this is actually going to take here, so we're going to find out. Okay, me thinks I should have bought uh, more mineral feed here. I wanted four pallets. Is that going to be enough? Oh, it's not taking this one. Um, no, there we go. Just wasn't quite close enough. Well, it's kind of looking like it's going to empty that one, too. Okay, uh, fine. Take the fourth one, then. Okay. Well, it's going to empty that one, too. I, okay, I have no idea how much it's going to take. I'm in uh, 4,200 liters, though. Um, hopefully, that'll at least be enough to last a little while. We'll call that good for the moment here, then. And maybe if I get bored, I'll have to run down to the shop. Or actually, maybe let's grab our big trailer. We'll head down there with that. And then we can grab like, a whole bunch of mineral feed, which, unfortunately, you have to buy one at a time. Giants. <clears throat> anyway. You know, like they, they got it so close, right? I've been so close. There's uh, various items in the shop where you can buy multiples of. You know, you want to buy eight bales at a time, you can. But then mineral feed, no, nope, one at a time. Just one. Like, really? Okay, anyway, you know, let's shut the lights off for a minute. There we go. Okay, well, well it doesn't appear to be a very nice uh, day out here. Plus, it's getting a little dark out. It's actually only it's 1800, so it's only 6 o'clock at night. Hmm. Must be a uh, winter time here or something. I think we'll just go ahead and uh, sleep through the night here. Actually, you know what? Before we sleep through the night, though, uh, animals are all good. Well, except for those cows. They need to be fed here eventually. Cows there are all pretty good. Horses... Um, they should have enough to last through the night. Let's maybe just run over there real quick. Pretty sure that's enough to last through the night, everyone. But just in case it's not. Pretty sure we got oats over here. We just gotta, like, move it so it recognizes it's still there yet, right? Yeah, just pick it up and it should... I guess we gotta lift it up here, otherwise it doesn't continue to empty. Okay, fine. And just grab another bag here, man. There we go. Yeah, guess there's room for one more. 
we're gonna have to uh, grab some uh, oats here too. Uh, we're actually what? Uh, wait, we got oats. Do we have oats in storage? Oh, let me see on seven. Do I have oats? Yes, I do. Okay, excellent. Don't need to buy any oats. Although with that being said, as I've said before, when it comes to this one, uh, it is actually cheaper for us to buy the oats, and it's more profitable for us to sell our oats, which. I guess what stops me from buying oats in the sh uh, shop and then turning it around and reselling them, essentially, right? Okay, going to sleep. Let's see, 8 o'clock. Yep, that sounds good. Oh, wait, wait, one more thing. I wanted to check, make sure we can still plant. Okay, yeah, we got one more month we can plant yet, and so we'll probably plan on doing that here tomorrow in-game, which, I don't know, should we just make that tomorrow's episode, too? We'll see once here. Done sleeping. Ah, you can sleep when you're dead. Everyone, what do you need to uh, waste time sleeping for, right? Oh, look at that brand new bright. Oh, still kind of a cloudy day. Well, at least it's not raining anymore. Someone turn the lights back on here. That is good. And like I said, everyone, I want to get one of these fields here replanted in, uh, I don't know, wheat, barley, some, probably, doesn't matter which one. No, I don't think it matters which one. I mean, either oats or wheat or something like that. Um, we got oats in storage, so we're not hurting for those. Uh, probably just some wheat then might be good. I don't know, I've never... Is there such thing as winter oats? I don't know, maybe there is. I, mean, I, I can't say I've ever heard of winter oats. Uh, winter wheat, I'm definitely more than uh, familiar with. That is fairly common uh, around where I live. And speaking of what's here... Oh, what field? Oh, you know what? Um, I bet you our grass field is ready to be mowed here as well. Actually, let me uh, reattach it. Let's pull this to the end here so it's not like halfway in between here. Just put it right there. There we go. Okay. I'll check and see once here too if uh, our shed fed our cows here yet or not. Hopefully it did. Uh, if it did not, then we're going to have to maybe uh, do a little more investigating here. Oh, let's see once here. I think we're going to take the uh, plow to the field. Yeah, and the reason I say that is if I plow the field, actually, well, another option. I could also weed it. Might do that as well. Hmm. Let's see once here. Does this uh, planter do no-till? I guess we're going to find out. Stupid question, because yes, in real life it does, but it does it in the game. And we want to be set on wheat. Wait, did I see corn? I did. Yeah. Weird. Oh, I went past my wheat. Try this one more time here. There we go. There's the wheat I was looking for. Uh, apparently, this planter also plants corn. That is strange. Odd. I mean, I, I guess there's nothing that really would probably stop you from planting corn with a planter like this. Um, <laughs> probably not going to be the greatest looking stand of corn you've ever seen, though. Probably would not recommend uh, staying away from doing that. Although, uh, again, at least as far as the game is concerned, I find that probably doesn't matter. But, yeah, real life, no, this, this does not plant corn. Oh, look at that lovely field of weeds. Maybe I should have plowed this field. I don't think there were weeds on it here before, were there? I don't know. I don't remember. Yes, it does no-till. Excellent. Now, the only problem with what I'm uh, doing here, everyone, uh, is we will end up with all kinds of weeds here on this field if we're not that careful. That's kind of the one advantage of plowing. So if you plow your field, that one you don't have to worry about weeds, which still seems like a bit of a weird concept if you ask me, but hey, it's the way the game does it, right? What am I supposed to do? So, yeah, I guess we're just not plowing or we're going to get weeds like we have now.
think everyone, once we uh, finish up the headland here, we'll probably uh, wrap it up here for this episode. Uh, going back to the comments here again uh, real quick. Uh, Christopher was saying good video. Keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, Wien? Wien? Wien, I think. I was asking, uh, or what is the mod at the top left of your screen? The mod at the top left of my screen is the Glance mod, which... Uh, to be honest, I mean, I probably should really, you know, turn that off just so it's not kind of in the way. Otherwise, uh, precision farming, glance, they all kind of get up there, everyone, and just, uh, it kind of gets to be a mess, to be honest. It is nice to have, but at the same time, everyone, it looks a little cluttered, if you ask me, too. As I've said before, when you start getting all these mods here, and it just, oh my goodness, your, your screen real estate just, uh, Wow. Got so much going on sometimes. You know, even on the uh, right-hand side of the screen there, I mean, we got, you know, auto drive and there's headland management. And then I'm not sure what's all these overlapping miles per hour and angle degrees. GPS is on the side. That, that one's pretty clean. Can't complain about that one too much. You know, auto drive. I mean, it is kind of what it is there. You kind of... Although, with that being said, I mean, they could really... Yeah, they could definitely uh, shrink down the auto drive window a lot. Because, I mean, take out all the space here. That'd be kind of nice, right? If we do like a minimized auto drive window, that would be kind of cool. Anyway, on that note, I think with that, we're going to wrap this up here. You folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, Evan, thanks for watching, and until next time.